Hi, this video will be looking at Harmony's brush tool. All right, so let's start by clicking the brush tool icon, which is located right here in the toolbar. And you can see the tool properties for the brush on the right hand side. This includes sliders for changing the maximum size of the brush. Now what smoothing does is if you turn it to high, and I try to draw a squiggly line, Harmony will try to smooth out that line for me. Extended options can be found by clicking the triangle here. And now you can see the default options for the pen tip or stamp. Circle, diamond, and square. You can create your own pen tips or stamps by clicking here and selecting import. And choosing your stamp, either created in Harmony or another image editor of your choosing. Over here are sliders for changing the maximum size of the brush, as well as the taper of that brush. Down here you can change the roundness of the pen tip or stamp, as well as the angle. So I move this over here. These options below are only available if your brush type is set to textured vector. Right now we're on solid vector, so we can switch that to textured vector by selecting it from the drop-down menu. As you can see, now the options for hardness and spacing, uh, as well as random size, random angle, and random spacing are now available. In the smoothing tab are options for changing the amount of vector points that appear along the center line of a brush stroke as well as the contour of a brush stroke. For example, with the center line and the contour smoothing set on high, if I were to make a brush stroke and select the contour editor, selecting the line, you'd see there's a minimal amount of vector points along the contour. If I drop this down and draw another line, you'll see there's many more vector points that have been added to the contour. Now the transparency tab, dual tip tab, and paper texture tab are all options that are only available when your brush type is set to texture vector, which we're already on. So we'll take a look at transparency. And you see options for maximum flow, min minimum flow, maximum opacity, minimum opacity, these are all options that you might be familiar with from editors like Photoshop. Over here, if you select dual tip, what will happen is that Harmony can now mix two brush types. For example, here we have a brush type set to circle and dual tip will check a second brush type, something like the splatter. We'll set the maximum size larger so you can see it better. Reduce the spacing. increase the maximum size for the second brush tip, and now you'll see you'll get a mix of both brush types. Over here in Paper Texture, if we click this, you'll see default options for textures that will tile nicely to create the impression of a larger uh, material. Down here, you can see the default brushes that Harmony comes with. And if you'd like to save your edits and changes that you've made to a brush as a new brush, simply click the plus sign here. Name your brush. And it will get added as a new brush. Down here are function modes, which change the basic way the brush operates. And to read up more about that, select the help tab and search for the brush tool in the online help. All right, that's been a quick look at Harmony's brush tool.